Well, today is January the 31st, and we are diving into Proverbs 31. We, we really hope that this uh, 31 days of God's Word is inspiring you to be in His Word daily. And so let's jump into the proverb today. Proverb 31 says, The sayings of King Lemuel, an inspired utterance his mother taught him. Listen, my son. Listen, son of my womb. Listen, my son, the answer to my prayers. Do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings, Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, not for rulers to crave beer, lest they drink and forget what has been decreed and deprive of all the oppressed of their rights. Let beer be for those who are perishing, wine for those who are in anguish. Let them drink and forget their poverty and remember their misery no more. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. A wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of his life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of the household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do no noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works br bring her praise at the city gate. You know, when we hear Proverbs 31, we, we automatically think about women. And rightfully so. Much of Proverbs 31 is talking about a, a wife of noble character. But I, but I think we need to discover today, and in my talking with you today, I want you to discover that it's more than just that. Um, it's more than just talking about the wife of noble character. As a matter of fact, what's happening in Proverbs 31 is unheard of because actually in the ancient culture, we actually have a woman given instruction to a man. And it just so happens that it's a woman who is a mother given instruction to her son who is the king. And as a matter of fact, in, the, in verse 2, you hear the mother say three times, listen, listen, listen. She's, she's, she's like, you've got to hear what I'm telling you, king. You've got to listen to what I'm saying to you. And, and in her words, she is sharing to her son that there are two things that he needs to be leery of, two things that will prevent him from being the man, the king, the leader that God has called him to be. And what are those two things? Wine and women. He's saying, she's saying to him, you've got to be careful that you do not let these things prevent you from being who God has called you to be. And so I think it's important for us to, to understand that. And then, and not only does she say, um, be careful about these uh, things, wine and women, that they don't distract you from the mission. And then she actually tells the king what his mission is. She says in verse eight, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. 
for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. What an unbelievable truth that is provided for us. You know, what I think is being said, and I love how Proverbs 31 ends with the wife of noble character because we've noticed in the Proverbs leading up to this that wisdom is often described as a woman. And then in Proverbs 31, we, we close with, with, with this wife of noble character and a woman telling her son to beware. Don't let uh, wine, don't let women distract you from the ultimate call that God has. And what is God's ultimate call? That we might be able to show love and compassion and minister to those who need to be ministered to, to take care of those who are marginalized, to take care of those who are weak and who are in need. Because when we harnessed our lives, not to seek after all the pleasures of the world that is for us, but rather be committed to the mission of God for others, then we truly become the compassion of God in our world. And as a result, we bless Him that people would see our good deeds and glorify in our Father in heaven. I'm so grateful for God's Word today. My prayer is that you'll continue to harness the Word of God in your own life, that it might be bring transformation for you and those you love. God bless you. 